Oh, wait. <laughs> my invisible dog's pooping. <laughs> uh, I think I can pick that up, right? Oh. How far does the poop go? Oh, that's it. That's as far as it'll go. <laughs> All right, so we're at the start. We're about to enter the kennel, but before we do that, this is also a 3D environment, so why don't we explore it a little bit? Not a whole lot to see. They use a lot of white for the skybox here, as well as any element that's not what you're intended to see. Although, I can already see here that there's an interior that we're supposed to be able to walk into before anything else. So before we even open the door, let's just take a look at what they got going on in here. It looks like pictures of the environments in which you actually play with the dogs. Nothing on the other side really except for this image. Very hard to make out what that's supposed to be though. Maybe uh, the park? I don't know. Now we actually have a legitimate skybox over here. That's much better. Although there's still a lot of that white effect that they seem to like to use. As far as game worlds I'd like to live in, this is probably at the bottom of my list. But on all sides we have benches with no 3D depth. They are just 2D textures. Oh, oh yeah, a building with one wall. I, I actually probably should have expected that. The less walls you have on a building, the more resources you have to work with. So, and given the fact that this is a 3DS game, you're gonna need them. Whoa, okay, hold on. <laughs> Looks like the 3D models for the dogs are on a separate track than the environment itself as uh, when we move the camera around the dogs seem to go all over the place <laughs> okay so now we're in the living room and oh <laughs> all right well apparently we are definitely not going to be able to keep the dog in the original position he has like a different uh, camera altogether it seems more sensitive than the one for the environment so we're just gonna have to deal with that what was that though? Did you see that? Oh, show the footage back again. I have no idea what that was supposed to be. Come back, weird thing. It was his tongue? <laughs> his tongue has a different position than his entire body. This is getting really weird. Okay. We gotta focus somehow. So there's a zoom out of the entire living room set. It is a really interesting aesthetic choice to make the floor only a part of the way and then the rest is not properly textured. I know that you can see that in game, but it looks much weirder from far away. Oh, well, I guess something we found out here. <laughs> He's taking a leak. Yeah. So despite the fact that your dog will be through the collar, it looks like they decided not to make it completely transparent like a normal color would be. But yeah, let's see what's going on with the city here. It seems to go on for quite a while before it stops. I guess while I'm showing off this area and possibly one more, I should go over what I think about this new direction that I'm going with the channel. I, I'm kind of with the consensus that I've been seeing with my last two videos, and that is that a lot of people seem to enjoy this to an extent, but also they don't want to see the highly edited videos of a traditional Boundary Break episode go away completely. I'd say it's very likely after this video, I'm going to go back to trying to make a real powerhouse episode of Boundary Break. The only thing is that the idea of trying to collect all the footage and make a quote unquote highlight reel, it's just too slow of a process, I can already tell. But I do think I'm going to sprinkle in one or two of these videos in between the traditional Boundary Break episode. Anyway, something to know here, you noticed how there's a lot of white used in this game. But, you can see that there's a texture used to cover up a completely square texture of environment. So, down below, you can see the concrete, which should be extended a little bit longer than it actually is. All right, I'll be entirely transparent with you. I ran out of content for this particular game. So given that it's a Nintendo franchise, I think it might be appropriate to address some things that you guys mentioned in the comments. Cause I do, I read the comments. And I remember with the A Link Between Worlds episode, a lot of you were confused at the fact that I didn't try to show you what's underneath Ravio's little helmet there. Now, here's the reason why, and you're gonna see right now, the truth is, I wanted to get the model ready so that I could just remove the helmet and then just show you what is left there. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to do that, so what's going to have to happen is I'm going to have to show you what it looks like in-game, which is not preferred in a situation like this. I would much rather just show you the model and not have to get some weird, uncomfortable angles, I like to put it. 
Now, all he has is a nose, but nothing else. And also the camera is not so favorable. You can see there's a lot of clipping and it's because um, there's no skybox up there, so it kind of messes with the character model. And I guess we can take the rest of this episode just exploring a link between worlds, honestly. Just gonna show you a couple of areas here from different perspectives, because I know that that's something that we didn't do a lot of with a game like this. It does benefit you, the viewer, greatly to see all these character models up close, because the game simply doesn't allow it. And one of the things that I thought was really interesting too is that these knights are human characters. You can see that because of the skin on their arms here. Otherwise, they could have hidden it completely with the purple pants and the green armor. Literally, you could have hidden the fact that they were human, but now you know for a fact that you're killing human beings here. All right, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, yeah, I think the next plan of attack here is we're going to do a traditional Boundary Break episode and maybe give you one more Let's Play in between now and then and it's probably going to be Twilight Princess again but I think what I want to do for the next big episode is a Pokemon game you guys can decide down below which Pokemon game it's going to be I was thinking X and Y because it's a 3D game it might be possible but I'd love to hear the feedback down below but anyways thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it and I hope that you had a good time take it easy